In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add anchor links to your WordPress website quickly, easily, and for free. If you don't know what anchor links are, let me explain. Anchor links are a specific kind of links that when you click on the link, it takes you to a different position in the same blog post instead of linking out to another blog post or an external website. These are special links, so you have to understand how to create them on your website. And I'm going to be covering three different ways to create anchor links on your website for different scenarios, depending on how your website is set up. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Otherwise you might miss out on a really cool method that you might not know existed. All right, let's get to the site and I'll show you how to add anchor links to your site. So let's start with the absolute basics. You can see on my screen right here that I've created a simple blog post for demonstration. We are using the blog editor in this case and not using any external plugins or third party plugins to create the anchor links. We'll be doing everything ourselves manually. So the page structure is very simple. This is the title of the post. This is just a paragraph that I've added. I've added a spacer block just to give it some space so I can actually show you the process or how show demonstrate the actual anchor working. And I've just added two blocks here. One is a paragraph block, which is simple, and another is a heading block. Now, what do you need to do to understand or to start creating anchor links is to first figure out where you want to reach, right? That's a, we're going a backward route. We have to figure out where we want to reach when we create a link. So let's say, for example, that this is the place that you want to reach once this link is clicked. So what I'm going to do right here is click on this block, which is the paragraph block, which will bring, bring up the block settings right here. And notice the advanced block. Can you see it right here? Click and open this and this will show you this option, which is called the HTML anchor. This is what we'll be using to create the anchor link. And also just to clarify, if you choose the heading block and go to the block settings, and once again in the advanced se settings, you see the HTML anchor block here as well. So regardless if you're using this on a heading or a paragraph, the process is actually the same. And that's why I added both of these elements or both of these blocks just to do this demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the paragraph block, go to the block, advanced tab. And what I'm gonna do is type an anchor right here, which I'm gonna use in this link to reference this link to this position. So what does the anchor need to be? What I'm gonna enter right here? Well, there are no rules, so you can enter anything you like, but I would reference or I would say anything that is descriptive of the heading or the position you're reaching is usually easy to understand and remember at a later date. So for example, I'm just doing this demonstration right now. So I'll just type in, bring me here. And notice that I've just typed in the uh, words right here. You are separated by hyphens. So bring me here. And what I'm gonna do is now copy this, right? So I've added the anchor to this uh, specific paragraph block right now. Let's go to the actual link where I want the anchor to be placed. So I'll go right here. I'll select the entire uh, link or entire, I'd say paragraph, because that's where I want the link to be. Instead of a specific word, I want the entire line to be a link. So. I'll click the link option right here and I'll type in, very important, I'll start with the hash key or the pound key and just paste the entire anchor that I created just a second ago. Paste it right here, bring me here. I'll just zoom it on the screen so that you can see it completely. Just press enter and we are done. I'll just update the blog post and I'll also open it up in a new tab and then let's see a demonstration of how it works. So this is the post, let's check it out. First, let me just scroll on the post and show you where the elements are. So this is the title, this is the actual anchor link, spacer, and this is the paragraph where we should reach once the anchor link is actually clicked. So let's go here and I'll click this and instantly we see we reach right here. So the anchor link is now working. And if you wanted to change the anchor from uh, the paragraph to the heading, all we have to do is come right here, right here, just cut this, go to the heading, HTML anchor, update the post once again, go to the demonstration page or the preview page. Let's refresh. I'll just update the URL for a second. And once again, I'll click and now you'll notice that we'll reach the heading instead of paragraph. So I'll click this and now we reach the heading, not the paragraph, which is just above. So the idea here was that it's very simple to you. And even if you want to change it at the future date, all you have to do is delete the anchor that you created or delete the anchor associated with a specific block and just add it to another block that supports it. Or even if you want to change the link, then it's very simple. Just change the hyperlink, delete the hyperlink from here and use the same methodology, just hash and then add the actual anchor that you added to any other element. And whenever the link is clicked, it will take you to the actual uh, position where you uh, marked it. All right, so this was the simplest way to add anchor links to your WordPress website. Now let me show you how to do this with a couple of plugins, which might be much faster and easier, and I'd say more manageable. All right, let's go.
So let me now demonstrate how to add anchor links to your WordPress website with the help of some plugins. So I have this post set up right now, anchor with TOC. So yes, we'll be using some table of contents to automatically create uh, links or anchor links to the most important headings to our site. And this is a much easier process. And most of the time you will be linking to uh, the headings itself, not a specific section of the site. So it's much easier to manage. And I'd say a lot of times this can be automated as well. And I've selected two plugins that we can do this with. One is an SEO plugin called All-in-One SEO, but it also includes a feature for a table of contents block. So it's much easier. And since you'll be using an SEO plugin anyway, if you haven't used any SEO plugin or you're still looking for an SEO plugin, why not just try All-in-One SEO? It has this wonderful feature as well. But let's say you already are using an SEO plugin, you don't wanna change. So you can use this plugin, which is called Easy Table of Contents. So I'll demonstrate both the methods. I'll demonstrate how the table of contents is created using All-in-One SEO and easy table of contents. And of course, the links to both these plugins will be down in the description. And once you've added that, I'll also show you, or once we've added those links or added the table of contents, I'll also show you what are the customization options that you get when you add a table of contents using both of these plugins. All right, let's get to the post right here. And let's say, for example, I want to add the table of contents, which contain anchor links right here after this section, the first paragraph. So I'll just type in enter. And to add a table of contents with all-in-one SEO, which is what we are using right now, We'll just type in forward slash AIO SEO and all the blocks that all in one SEO has will come up right here. And of course, we want to use the table of contents block first. So I'll click on this and I'll take a second for uh, the table of contents block to load all the headings there are. And as you can see, it's already uh, showing all me all the headings. And the neat part about this is that it automatically detected that these, this heading and this heading is H3, but this heading is actually H4. And that's why it's showing it in this uh, chronological order with some indentation. And this is a great way to uh, understand that this all this process can be automated. Now, if you want to customize this, then you have all the options. Let's click on the block right here and you can see all these beautiful options. Let me explain what you can do. So first of all, what you can do is first change the anchor if you want to. Right now, the anchor is this. If you want to change it for some reason, you have the ability. You can also reorder them. So this is a powerful functionality. Let's say you're changing or uh, you have the content written down in a certain way, but there's a strong reason why you want to reorder this, these links, then you have the ability right here. Also, you can also disable some of these anchors right here. So let's say, for example, you, you are using a lot of H5s on your website, then you want to disable some of those links, not all of them. Just click the I icon right here and the associated anchor or the heading will be disabled automatically. It's pretty awesome, right? So let's just leave it at that. And I'll, what I'll do is update the post and I'll preview it in a new tab just to show you how it works. Let's go right here. And as you can see, the headings are automatically inserted right here. So if I click the heading one, I'll go to heading one, I'll click heading two, I'll reach heading two. If I click heading three, I'll reach heading three. Now let me also demonstrate how you would hide it. So I'll just click right here. Let's say I want to disable heading two for some reason. I'll just do this. I'll update the post. It's updated. Let's refresh this page right here. Let's go back to the top. And now you see heading one and heading three. Heading two has been disabled or hidden. This is a powerful feature. So all this is possible right inside all-in-one SEO. It's very simple. And most of the time you'll be using an SEO plugin anyway. So why not use all-in-one SEO and have this functionality as well. But I understand, let's also demonstrate how to do this with easy table of contents. So I'll delete this block right now. And what I'll do is you notice that the table of contents block, uh, table of contents plugin is actually already installed. I disabled the functionality of the plugin on this particular post because I wanted to demonstrate all in an SEO as well. So I'll open the settings option right here. And first of all, I'll disable this option, which is enabled to disable the functionality of the plugin on this post. And there are a bunch of options right here. But what I'll do is I'll just save the post first. Open it once again. It's already open. Let me just refresh it here and instantly see the table of contents are actually inserted. So you can click this to enable or uh, show them and even hide them. So it's already done. If you just wanted to do that, it's already done. And you click and it takes you to a smooth scroll. This is the difference that, there. If you wanted to in, and include a smooth scroll, this is a feature that's present right here. Let's go back to the options right here and explain how you can customize uh, the functionality of these anchors using all the options inside table of contents. So the first option is obviously you can disable the plugin on a particular post and you can also disable uh, this on a global scale. And most of these settings right here are available as global settings as well. And you can override them on a post level, which is also cool. So using these heading options, so 
First of all, which of the headings uh, you want to uh, include or not include? It's a similar functionality to how I showed you in all in one SEO. But you know, on all in one SEO, you can disable individual headings as well, even if it's uh, or let's say all the headings are H2, but you want to disable just one. So there's a difference right here. You also have some ex extra options. If you want to customize the title of the heading right here, you can do that. You also have options to exclude headings. So let's say for some reason you need wildcard access to exclude certain types of keywords from your headings, then you can use this option right here. So point being very simple, if you just want to include table of contents, just a couple of anchor links, I already showed you the manual method to do so. And of course, if you want to use table of contents, it's very simple to do it right here. So in both cases, we have covered the block editor and how to add anchor links to your website using the block editor. But what about the classic editor? There are a lot of people that still use the classic editor, right? So there must be a way to add anchor links to the classic editor or using the classic editor. Well, there is. So let me talk about it and demonstrate it right now. All right, let's now talk about how to add anchor links to your WordPress website when you're using the classic editor, as you can see on the screen right here. Simple classic editor post, anchors and classic editor is the title of the post. And this is the anchor link, which I want to create the link to. That means I click this link and I should reach here. So let's one, one thing to clarify that the process or the principle behind what we're going to do is exactly the same on what I showed you in the block editor in the first step. But because the block editor gives you some controls right here in the blocks, uh, this is a little bit or this might look different, but the principle is actually the same. So what we're going to do is switch to the text based editor right here. Click this link right here and we'll reach this kind of view, which is the HTML view or the code view, similar to how you see in the block editor. And what we're going to do is just start from the bottom or start from the bottom where we want to reach. And this is the line where we want to reach. So I'm going to start modifying this a little bit. Now, based on uh, what you see right here, this is a paragraph. So first step I'll do is wrap this in paragraph tags, which looks something like this. I'll zoom it up on the screen. P and closing tag is this. So what this signifies is that this is a paragraph tag and this opens right here and closes right here. It's similar to how you would see a paragraph block. So just imagine this being a paragraph block. Now, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of properties right here. So how do we do that? Just reach this before the closing of the opening tag and just type this ID equals uh, quotes open. And we'll type in the exact HTML anchor that we typed in in the HTML block. So I'm going to type here, let's hyphen reach here, brackets. I'm going to just copy this entire segment because it's easier. I'm, all, I'm going to be reusing this anyways. I'll copy this. So just to clarify what we did, we and, and or uh, we covered the paragraph in paragraph tags and we added a property which is called ID. So ID property and the ID is let's reach here. That's all we did. Now let's move to the anchor. Now, since the anchor is a link, it's not going to be wrapped in paragraph tags. It's going to be added or wrapped in A tags. So similar process, instead of P, we'll type in A, reach the end, A. So we've wrapped this in A tags. Now let's add the link property to it. Similar to how we did in the ID property or the paragraph had an ID property. The A tag will have a href property, which is a HTML way of saying link. So I'll type in href equals, just paste it right here. And we'll get, once again, an important segment, reach to the beginning of this and type in the pound key or the hash key or the hashtag key if you're uh, a Gen Z. Then ahref equals hashtag or hash pound. Let's reach here. Similar exactly what it looks like this, just the property is different. So let me recap before we go to the actual demonstration. We wrapped the ending point where we want to reach in paragraph tags, we gave it in specific ID using the ID property of the PHTML tag. Then going to the link where we want to create, we wrapped it in A tags and then give it the href property. We added the same href as the uh, tag right here, just adding the pound key right here. All right, let's go back to the visual segment right here. Let's go and we let's update the post. Let's wait. The post is now updated. Let's open it up in a new tab. And as you can see, this is a post. This looks like a link and this is where we want to reach. Will it work? Let's find out. I'll click and I reach right here. 
So that's how you add HTML tags using the classic editor and also the block editor and also with third party plugins. I hope I anchored this information right in your brain. If not, then leave any of your questions that you have in the comments. And if you like this video, then leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more easy to follow, easy to understand WordPress tutorials. And if you want more on the WordPress learning journey, just watch up the couple of these videos that I'm going to place on the screen right here. My name is Yuvraj and I'll catch you in the next video on WP Beginner. Take care, stay safe.